Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and welcome back to another event video here on Marvel Strike Force. Today, we're going to be talking about we're going back in time like almost 20 years for the event Asgard 2004 and that's going to be the Photon character release event. So, we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to get all of those shards which is almost a four star it's not quite so unless there's some secret somewhere you might be like 10 shards short of getting a four star photon by the end of this event so if that's something that concerns you or you really want that four star free to play i actually recommend maybe pulling one or two of her orbs while she's here and if you are going to be finishing the milestone event then you'll get a four star if not you're going to be like this close from a four star otherwise you know you'd probably be able to look out for you you know, probably a strike pass or an RTA of the characters coming in the not so distant future because you know we're already getting one for Beta Ray Bill. So if you're patient, uh, you'll probably get that anyways. But otherwise, if you're impatient, then you can do that with the cores. But let's get on to the math because that's what we're here to do. So if you're ready to go, everybody, let's boil this down. Now, before we get started, I know this is not a Cosmic Crucible video, but I do want to kind of just cover the news really quickly uh, before we jump into the math, because obviously I'm not going to make a separate video on this. So for those of you who are playing Cosmic Crucible, you may have noticed there's a bunch of screw-ups right now in the various rooms, including these here. If you haven't seen this blog post, you should probably, well, I'm going to tell you right now anyways. Basically, room one, all the strikers are gaining double damage. Uh, they're supposed to only apply under 50% health, but currently for this week, uh, they're all double damage. So maybe shift that Infinity Watch into Room 1 because uh, there's a lot of Strikers on that team or any of your other big teams that use Strikers right now. Room 4 basically is messed up. The whole assist function does not work. Room 5, all mutants, including villain mutants, have the tags for Unlimited X-Men and all those things. So if you want to run APOC Unlimited X-Men, now's the time for this week because they're not rolling it back apparently and they're keeping it as is. And Room 6, special abilities are plus 2 energy cost and not minus two like it's supposed to be so certain characters it's actually kind of similar to last season that had this uh pretty much it was the same thing so that's probably why it got effed up uh but yeah so all of these changes are supposed to be fixed for next week but they're still gonna let it go as is so any trophies that were gained or lost during this period make sure you're keeping up to date with these changes and you might want to change your defense accordingly like i said i moved my infinity watch uh, from room three to room one and i moved what was in room one to room three and then for room five i put on uh, unlimited x-men with apoc and i removed uh phantom x of course so that's what's changed on my cosmic crucible i just wanted to let you know what was going on so let's jump to the Sylvie TVA, this is my subtotal. You guys have seen this, I'm sure. I keep track of this every month. Reason why we're here. Just to make people aware that Sylvie is at 165 shards. Ironically, also the 165 that is going to be for the Photon event. So I don't know if this is uh, of things to come that 165 seems to be just short of four star because you get the five free as well. So that's like 170 total if you do everything. And you're just shy of that four star. I think that's intentional, honestly, to probably to get you to either spend cores or to buy an offer that comes out. But anyways uh so we have re reset charges you guys know the drill on the event store by now uh currently we will have three of them total after this asgard event there's only one reset charge in the asgard event there is two in the vormir event which uh maybe some of you might have got some of you might not have whether or not this will impact your ability to get the 800k at the end of the month i'm not sure at this point in time because they're going with a little bit of a different system so it's kind of hard to say Thirty thousand points is a lot though and last month we only finished at 820 so 30,000, it's possible that that could screw you if you don't get that. And also the daily milestone, uh, sorry, the daily free claim is 3,000 10 pads and 1,200 gift cards. A lot of gift cards actually, so good currency there. It's a decent store, so I don't have any complaints about that. Uh, but otherwise, these are the, the numbers that we have so far right now, and it adds up to a total of uh, 440,000 out of 800k with obviously still quite a few events to go so just letting people know what the rundown is right now this is asgard 2004 yes we're 19 years in the past let's zoom in a little bit more so this involves battling in blitz and spending power cores 
Of course, almost every event might as well have a spend power core function at this point. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but what I do like about this event and why this is actually a lot easier than other Blitz events is that it requires battling in Blitz. There's a, a few instances where it's a win. You'll, you can probably already see that now. Uh, but the majority of this is just battling a blitz, which is great because it means that you can just go through your roster and make sure you have the maximum amount of teams available. You might want to double check as well because for me, for example, I have 49 teams uh, that I can use, which is more recent because of some new additions to uh, my roster. So I don't think there's quite 50 unless you've been buying new characters. Uh, and I think it caps at 50. We're going to need some expansion of the save squad soon. I think they did it from 40 to 50 or 45 to 50 at some point. They're going to need to do it again pretty soon. So there's at least 49, and because of the way that the, the structure of this event is that it's, for the most part, is battling and blitz, I am actually using calculating with that cap in mind. So if you don't have all the characters unlocked or most of the characters unlocked, um, just extrapolate downwards a little bit that you'll get a little bit less points or it'll take you a little bit more rotations to maximize this. But the great news is that this milestone is actually, for the most part, free to play clearable. So the, the chart here for all of this, which goes down to 180,000, you can pretty much get this if you're willing to, you know, go balls to the wall on blitzing here. That 180k is actually viable. Uh, believe it or not, uh, this will be the one time, and there's actually some good stuff in there, including G18 minis. There's 20 and 20 over here. I think that's the nebulizer and the hyperphage. Uh, so that's 40 uh, bio G18 minis, which sounds pretty good. And of course, all the temp pads, which you're going to get, honestly, this part's going to be pretty easy. Uh, but if you do want to get the extra photon shards, which is actually the unlock is here at 102k you're gonna that's the unlock that's the, the 100 shards for a photon and there's an additional 55 shards sorry 155 shards uh plus the five from the free claims 160 i think i said 170 earlier uh but it's actually 155 plus five so 160 so you might have to pull an extra orb actually uh now that i think about it if that's what you're looking to do Otherwise, if you're patient, just wait it out, and there's probably going to be a pass of some sort later on. Uh, so, yeah, if you do want to get the maximum photon shards, you're going to be looking at 135,000, which will take a little bit more of the rotation. So I do have that listed in here. So photon free-to-play unlock is 102,000. Uh, the event currency does cap out at, oh, sorry, that's 91,000 currency available, plus the one reset charge. So this event is worth 121K, uh, which is quite a lot. 125 photon shards at 124k and then the 150 which is only 11,000 more for 35 more shards so that's quite valuable so this is going to be the ultimate goal i think is where people are going to want to get to i think 135k um is not that hard to get actually uh but that's where a lot of people are going to want to push towards if you can stomach even just doing blitz rotations when you don't even need to win and that's the best part of it so here's the points breakdown now, 84,000 is the total that you can get from capped blitz battling. Now, there is an uncapped version, and this is the second time they've run an event like this, so I, I'm very confident that this is how it works, is that when you do a blitz battle, you're going to get 50 points for the capped section, and you're also going to get 25 down here for the capped, uh, sorry, the uncapped session for a total of 75 points. Now, that 75 points is only going to last until you get to the 84,000, and then after that, it's just going to be 25 thereafter. And so there's a total of 1,680 blitz battles that would require you to get to 84,000 to that cap there. So, but know that when you're blitzing, you're typically going to get 75 points per blitz battle as you cycle through your teams. Now, you are going to get some a little bit of boost. Now, normally I wouldn't include this, but for the purposes of this calculation in the video, I am actually including Photon because by the time you get towards the, towards when you start unlocking her, you know, you will be able to do this really quickly to add an 8,000 points on there. It is a seven day event, so there is going to be a lot of blitzes. A lot of rotations uh, that you want to do and if you're really hardcore about it like i said you can complete this event uh there is blitz with miss marvel hardlight i am not including this into my calculations because this is going to be an offer on friday and uh, this is not really free to play uh viable but photon is because you will probably get her unlocked by like day five something like that maybe four or five depending on how hard you're blitzing and then you can include her and get those extra eight thousand uh you get four thousand for dr strange and four thousand for sylvie so there's a lot of bonus points right here eight thousand for these two uh 16 so with, with, with photon and that's like a hundred thousand right here in just this section here if you cap that out now there is something called the godly power orb 
I don't know what this is. It doesn't make clear how many of these we are getting. It might be a free claim online uh, that we might get to. Maybe we'll get the cap. Maybe we'll get the 10,000 points. And if we do, that means you'll have to blitz even less to get to that. Uh, well, to get to the 135K anyways, if that's your, your end goal. But I don't know exactly how many of these we're getting. It, it does cap at 10,000 at 5,000 points each. So two orbs uh, for that. It's also uncapped, actually, that you get 2,500 thereafter. But again, I don't know how many of these we're going to be getting over the course of the event. So this is not included in the math. But actually, even without that, it is still possible to hit the final milestone. So that's pretty impressive. And if you do want to spend power cores uh, on any of the characters upcoming, including Miss Marvel Hardlight, who's going to be on Friday, uh, then you will get four points per power core. So that's cool. It's a little bit more than, than previous events. Uh, and so if you spend... 5,000 power calls, you get 20,000 points. I guess it doesn't seem that that much now that I look at the different points. But hey, you know, if you want to push and you don't want to do as many blitzes or you were going to unlock Miss Marvel anyways, then now's your time, I guess. So the total amount of blitz battles that you're going to need to do is 1,680. Over seven days, this is 240 blitz battles. It's approximately like five uh, blitz rotations at 49 blitz battles. Normally I do my calculations at 45 uh, when it comes to blitz wins, but because this is just cycling through your team, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. And so this should be quite viable. Um, maybe some people have that 50th team. I don't know. I, I don't. So maybe if you bought, I, I don't know, with Photon and maybe Super Scroll. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you can make 50 teams, but I, I, I can't. So anyways, that's about five rotations a day for seven days to get to that 1680. Now, That'll get you the 84,000 up here. But if you want to push that further, if you're someone who's doing, you know, eight rotations, then I have the maximum points down below. So this is the total, what I would say is the reasonable points. That's basically if you do the 84,000 limit and the associated 25 points that come along with it, the 8,000 for Photon, because you're going to get her unlocked, the 4,000 with Strange, the 4,000 with Sylvie, all of that will eventually add up to 147,000. Like I said, that also, uh, if you look at the, the one, yeah, the, there's a lot of math in here. But anyways, it includes basically numbers, includes uh, spending power cores at 200 cores a day for your campaign energy. Some people still do that. So I did include that as well as part of that. Uh, and I did that over seven days. So it's about 1,400 power cores over seven days. And the additional points that you would be getting uh, from the 25 uncapped, I just basically did 1,680 Blitz Battles times 25 because that's how the um, how much extra points that you're going to get along the way because you do get scored for both of those. So keep that in mind. So it's the 84,000 plus the 25 points times 1,680. So it's a lot of points there up for grabs. And as you can see, that's all the photon shards. That's 140. So if you do five rotations a day, you will get this score, which is 155 photon shards. And that's really good, honestly. 150,000 is all of it, except for milestone 20. So if you really want to push, and actually, who knows, maybe you'll get really close actually with those orbs, but again, I don't know what we're getting. So if you really want to push for this final milestone, which is 150 promo, dark promos, and three elite five orbs, and the G18 minis, also, keep in mind, there is a leaderboard associated with this. So if you do want to blitz balls to the wall, there is going to be some G18 Zuffer grabs. As you can see behind me, there's 1% to 2%, which will give you uh, 40 more G18 minis. And if you can somehow push the 1,000, I doubt it, because that's probably in spending territory, uh, you know, then there is here. But even the 1% to 2% has 1.3 million blue 5 ions, which is pretty impressive. I actually, you know, I don't think they've offered this much even in that category for some time. So if you're someone who wants to blitz or can blitz lots of rotations, you might have a good uh, possibility of making it into that 1% to 2% bracket. Or even the 3 to 10% honestly is pretty respectable with 800,000 blue 5 ions. You don't get the G18s, unfortunately. Uh, but still, this is a good... I'm hoping maybe I can get at least the 3 to 10%. I'm not someone who sets timers anymore for 8 rotations. But I just want to provide that information for you. So the extra, what I call is the max blitzing. And I basically made the difference of, you know, between five rotations and eight rotations a day, how many extra points are you scoring? And you'd be a bit surprised because you're going to you're going to build another 68,000, uh, sorry, another 26,600 points from the uncapped. That's the 25. And so basically what I did was I just I, 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 I split the difference here. I just I, how many points would I get in the uncapped points if I did eight rotations a day? 
every single day. It would be this, but then I took that from what it was from the above calculation for what it was for 1,680 Blitz Battles. And that's how you kind of figure out the difference in terms of like how much points am I missing or I'm not getting from doing those extra six, seven, and eight rotations a day. So it's about 26,600. If I add that onto this, you're about 174,000. Now, again, that's not quite 180,000, but I'm gonna go on a limb and assume you're getting at least one of those orbs. You can also do blitz charges. I, I didn't put that in here, but don't forget that you could spam blitz charge battles. So 25, 25, 25, 25 over and over again. If you want to kind of make it go a little bit quicker, make sure you spread it out with your different teams and you'll be able to get a little bit extra points as well along the way. So uh, not only will you actually finish the cap part uh, quicker, uh, but yeah, you'll get some additional uncapped uh, score as well. So you could probably still push that, especially since it resets every day, the bliss charges to 25, that that could probably bridge the gap that for to 180,000 for you to get there. And obviously if you are competing on the leaderboard, then you're gonna wanna push it a little bit more. So again, final notes, doesn't include godly power-ups. I don't know how many we're getting. Uh, maybe we'll get a couple, maybe we'll get at least two, and then that way, you know, you'll get 10,000 points on top of all this, and you'll get the 180,000 easy peasy if you're going to push that. If you're going to blitz hardcore, for the rest of us, including myself, I will be happy with probably somewhere around here. Five rotations a day, that sounds good to me. Uh, I don't really need to push much more, more than that, and that's most of the milestones, and I hope that that will get me about 3 to 10% on the leaderboard, and I'll be able to walk away happy. So that's everything when it comes to blitzing for this event for Photon. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I'm actually really happy that it's blitz battling and not blitz wins. Uh, mostly because I don't have to care as much as I'm flipping through my teams and doing it. I know that Blitz is low quality screen time, but at the end of the day, this is a much better version of an event than past ones. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy to walk away with my 155 photon shards and call it a day. So, or call it a week, I guess. <laughs> so that's the end of the video, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan, signing out.